Hello everyone, my name is Patrick Frawley and I'm your product specialist for tractors. Today you join us here at Class UK, our headquarters in Saxon. And in this video we are going to have a look at our hex active auto shift function on a CIS Plus machine. So you now join me up in the cab of our CIS Plus machine looking at some of our transmission features here again. So what can we see on our armrest in relation to our hex active feature? Well firstly our hex active is an auto shift function. So when we turn hex active on, depending on the settings that we make in relation to it on the screen, it will allow the machine to automatically shift the gear that you're in by itself. How do we turn that on? Well simply we have an on or off functionality here on the armrest annotated here by the auto symbol within the gear symbol. So by pressing this you can see the light goes off and the function is now turned off. I can turn it back on again to again activate that hex active feature. So looking at our CIS Plus display over on the right hand side of the cab we can now see what settings and adjustments we can make in relation to our hex active feature. So first thing we're going to notice from our home display is the fact that we have our hex active turned on and we have our auto symbol annotated up at the top of the screen telling us that obviously the function is available to work. The next thing we would also see with the machine running and the function turned on as well is our gears would be highlighted black telling us a second way that the feature is also turned on. We have a third feature that we can see from our home page which is our hex active limit. So we can manually select a top limit of our hex active function so that the tractor will not change above that gear value. Now why might this be important? Well if we think about this in terms of cultivating, maybe for example we have varying different field conditions and we're changing from heavy clay to light sand in various different areas of the field. So the tractor is constantly in between gear C2 and C3, for example. So in different cases of the field, it changes up and then back down. What we can do with our hex active limit is manually select gear C2 by changing down once with the hex active function turned on. And this will tell the tractor that we no longer want to change above gear C2 and will remove any of that poor behavior. Now, what other settings can we make in relation to our hex active? So firstly, what we want to do is come into our menu, into our transmission menu annotated by the uh, cog that we can see on the left hand side of the screen. In there, we have a couple of different options. What we want to do is pop over to our auto sub menu that we can see annotated by the cog and the auto symbol in the middle of the screen. And in here, then we have a setting for our uh, hex active. So in here at the moment you can see we are set to auto. With auto selected the machine does all of the sensing in terms of when to change up and when to change down. And it will be in terms of finding the RPM depending on the load of the back end of the machine. If we so wished what we can do is come into this and change this to a specific RPM. So maybe 1650 RPM. In this example now, the machine will consistently change at 1650 RPM, no matter what load is behind the back of the tractor. Or for example, we can then also change it to PTO mode by dialing it all the way to maximum. And in PTO mode, what this does is it keeps the machine a lot more reactive and the gear changes will be a lot more snappy. So in thinking about that in terms of a fixed RPM value, we will have a better response out of the transmission for this. So, thank you for watching everyone. I hope it helped. Feel free to watch some of the other videos in relation to your own specific machine. And if you have any further questions, don't hesitate to contact your local dealer.